Welcome to Automania YouTube channel. The most complete automotive channel in YouTube. The new Jeep Compass is a small sub along the same price and size lines as the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Ornus and Qashqai. What Jeep was keen to impress on us at its launch was that the top two specs, the Limited and the Trailhawk, were quite capable off-roaders. That is an ambitious statement, and for something to have any off-road ability in this small sub class is rarer than teeth on a hen. There are too many cute subs on this planet, which is why Jeep's unapologetically tough styling is always welcome in my books. The Compass is more a mini Grand Cherokee than the Cherokee, with a high, broad and flat bonnet, squared off headlights, signature 7 slot grille, and bulky strong wheel arches. This is a darn good looking small sub. American cars tend to have less refined cabins than European and Japanese cars, but the Compass's interior has a premium feel. That said, we were only given the top spec limited and Trailhawk to drive, with their leather seats, large screens and all the fancy trimmings. The Compass's dimensions are interesting, because at 4394mm N2 end and 1819mm wide, it's a big small sub like the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross and Nissan Qashqai. The height varies from the sport and longitude, which are 1629mm tall, to the 1644mm limited, and the Trailhawk at 1657mm. The Compass also has small design element you adore or abhor. They the Easter egg surprises Jeep love so much, tiny design features hiding around the car. I'm a fairly cynical bloke, but even I like discovering the lizard, the Loch Ness monster, the Morse code and the Willis Jeep grill hidden around the car. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, give us a comment, share to your friends, and subscribe to our channel. See you again on the next video.